Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to this video tutorial series on database programming with Python. In this video, we will see how we can use fetch many method to, ex to retrieve an exact number of data from the tables. Now in the previous videos, we have seen how we, how we used fetch one and fetch all methods, fetch one which was returning just one row per execution and fetch all which returned all the rows that satisfied the select statement. In this video, we will see how fetch many would return only specific number of rows. So let's jump onto our Visual Studio code and start programming. So here, I'll use the basic fetch all method that we had and we'll modify the code as needed for the fetch many method. I'll create a file called as fetch many example dot py. So I'll paste the code that we had written earlier for fetch all. Now let's run through the code. First of all, we import the required module. Then in a try block, we try and create a connection to the database using the connect method and we provide the database string as an input. If an exception would be raised, it will get caught in the accept block and this message would get printed. If no, ex if no exception is raised, the else block would get executed in which we again have a nested try catch block. And at the end, we have a finally block where we close the connection. In the nested try catch block, first of all, what we try is we try and create a, when we try and create a cursor. Once we have the cursor, we have the SQL statement that we want to execute. So using the cursor dot SQL and passing in the SQL, this SQL which this SQL statement will get executed and in its data will get will get associated with the cursor. If I execute the select statement in a SQL developer, you can see that there are basically four records present in this table. We got four records. If we had used fetch all, all those four records would have would have been returned. But over here, we, we want to see how we can work with the fetch many method. So we'll write something like row is equal to cursor dot fetch many, and we'll and we'll give a number and we will make and the, the fetch many method will make sure that only those number of records or those number of rows are returned. So if I give two over here, though this select statement is satisfied by four records and all of them four should got should have been returned with fetch many, I can control and say just return me two records. So if I execute this, you can see over here that only two records are returned. If I give three over here, save it and execute it, you'll see that only three records would get executed. So this is one of the ways through which you can control how many number of records will get returned by the, when you really don't know how many records the select statement would get, would return. And basically if you want to show them to an UI or something, and then that way you, from here you can control with fetch many that how many numbers of record will get returned. But what if you give a number larger than the number of records present? If you've seen previous video, then you would know that this would perfectly work. So here you can see I, though I said return me 10 records and the select statement basically has four records to show me, it just gives me those four records. It, it will not raise an exception that these many number of records are not present. It will not give anything else for those new, for those absent records. It will just return the number of record it has and it will carry on with the next step. So over here, even though I asked for 10 records, it had four records from the select statement and returned those four as a list of tuple. So this is how fetch many works and this is how you can control the number of records that you get from your select statement in Python. I hope this video was informative and you guys liked it. Please do like, share and subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.